My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Excel. Today we will see how we can do real-time QNT conversions in Excel. We will use the data from the European Central Bank. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Excel and automation. Let's get started. We go to our Excel sheet. We have three columns here. We have an ID column with unique identifiers. Then we have a total in Euro. And we want to convert each of these cells to a total in US dollar, but we want to use live exchange rates from the European Central Bank. How's that? Well, first we go to a browser. We'll go to exchangeratesapi.io, where we can call an API um, to get the latest exchange rate from the European Central Bank. For example, scroll a little bit down. Here we can get the latest exchange rate. So let's copy this address and just paste it in, in our browser. Like this. Then we can see that we will get a JSON here. This one is a JSON and we can see that we got rates here. Then we got a lot of rates. We got a base and that means that the base is in Euro. So that means each one of these currencies they got a number and that is how much a Euro cost in that currency. For example, one Euro that is 1.0843 US dollar or it's uh, it's 1.8315 Australian dollar and so on. And then we'll get the date of today. But this one will update a, a lot of times every day. So um, first we will copy this address in here. Then we'll go to Excel. We'll click data and we will click from web here. We'll wait a few seconds and then we will paste in our address here in the URL. We will click OK. We will wait because now it will connect to this address. And now we got this Power Query editor. And what we'll do here is that we can see we still got the rates that was in the base and the date. Just click the record here in the rates. And now we can see that we will um, have all our currency listed. We can convert it into a table. Click here. And then we will just click close and load because now we have it in the table. And if we click close and load, then we will have it in a table on a new sheet in Excel in a few seconds. It will load now and we can see here that we get our uh, QNC rates. So now we got those one in a separate sheet, but uh, let's right click and just rename it. We can call this rates uh, with base euro. So now we know that this is uh, our sheet with the QNC rates where the base is in euro. We will uh, mark uh, any point in the table. Then we'll go to query up here, click properties. Now we can uh, define how often we want to update uh, the exchange rates. I'll say, why not update it every minute? Or you can choose 10 minutes, or you can choose one, or you can choose when you're opening the file. However, I'll do one minute. Then we'll click OK. So now this one will update every minute. So far, so good. And then we can go to our sheet where we want to convert it. Because now what we want to do here is that we'll just take the exchange rate in US dollar and multiply it with the euro and then we'll get our amount here in the US dollar. Let's see how that is done. So we'll click equal. Then we will mark the euro. Then we'll click multiply. Go to our rates sheet. And then we will find our US dollar and let me see, it is here. And then what we'll do before we uh, do anything, click F4, because that means that this is locked. So click F4 and then click enter. Now we can see that we update the whole column. We can uh, inspect, sorry, we can inspect the data here. And what we can do is just that we can uh, have it uh, two decimals. So now we can see that 354 0.19 euro that equals to 384.05 US dollar, right? Um, and so uh, that is mission complete. However, let's say that we got another sheet where we want to convert US dollar to Japanese yen. Well, we can easily do it, but um, so we can do it by saying that um, we want to know how uh, many Japanese yen uh, goes in for one dollar. And first we will just take the total here. Then we will multiply it with um, the currency in yen. 
So that is Japanese Gen. And again, click F4. So we got the exchange rate locked. Then we want to divide it by the exchange rate in US dollar like this and click F4 again. Then we will click enter. And now we will get uh, the amount in Japanese Gen. Let's, let us get down to two decimals. Oh, it was. However, let's say that we want to do it the same way as we did here with a base in US dollar. Well, then we can just go to our uh, foreign exchange rate API and we can scroll a little bit down. And then we can see that we can actually get uh, whatever base we want. We just uh, copy this one in. And this one is with US dollar, that's the one we use. But however, if you are going to use another currency, then you can just uh, do uh, this aberration. So if we wanted, for example, Swedish kronos, then we'll just type in SEK or Australian dollar AUD, Danish kronos DKK. You'll get the point, right? Then we can just uh, go, here is the base US dollar. Now we can see that the base is US dollar and then we get all the other amounts correlated to that. Let us uh, copy that one in. We can do it one more time. So let's go to data. Then we'll get from web. We'll wait a bit, paste in the address, click OK. Then we'll get our Power Query Editor again. And we'll click record and we can see that we got our currency rates here. Let's convert it into a table and click close and load. Then we will wait a bit and now we got it here. So let's uh, just rename this. So we got it. So rates with base US dollar. Then we can go to our sheet again and let's instead of doing this calculation, we could just do like we did before. So let's delete it. And by the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Then we can just say equal and we can have our amount. Then we will just uh, time it with um, the rate for Japanese uh, gen. And we will, uh, let me find it, that's here. And we'll click F4 again. And now we can see it here. So for example, 355 US dollar, that's uh, 39,195 Japanese yen. That's it for today. That's how you do real-time currency conversions in Excel. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Excel and automation. Have a good day. Bye-bye.